maybe in your subconsciousness you cannot even remember the telephone number yeah it happens welcome back to the channel thank you so much for coming back to another session of the pregnant woman passport i am so grateful you came back and i thank you so much for sharing to our pregnant women and people who this my interest our pregnant woman passport is our maternal and child health record book today on the channel we are going to discuss family identity but before we do that if you are new here kindly subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button below and my name is Saad Sadek. you can call me Metsa, your international midwife the first point of the family identity is serial number for mother serial number for mothers are developed by each institution or let me say where you attend your clinic so wherever you attend your clinic, they are going to give you a serial number, which will identify in their record as you. The next one is the registration number for mother. In other facilities, aside you having their serial number that is developed by the institution, their um, maternal health center would also give the mother a registration number indicating her pregnancy. Name of facility. So for example, the name of the facility I attend clinic is Kolebu Teaching Hospital. You could be in Gasal Municipal Hospital. You could also be in Fini Hospital, Leicester Hospital, Lekma Hospital, depending on the facility in which the maternal health record book is given to you, is going to be indicated there. Date of issue of this MCH book. That is the day in which the book was issued to you. It has been dated so that it is kept as a record as the day you were given the book. And this helps in monitoring you as you go by with your maternal care. Then your national health insurance number. This number is generated from our NHIS card. So for example, my number is 12543721. And that is um, my national health insurance number. If you are also in a private insurance like Acacia, Metropolitan, Prudential, any private health insurance policy in which you own, you could also take it to the facility and it will be indicated there. So in a hospital where the facility is synchronized and everything is mostly online, when you enter and your name is typed into their system, everything of yours comes, your name, your bio data, and also the national health insurance or any insurance policy that you use. Next is the mother's name. That is Saada Sadek. That is my name and that is what you find there. So you could also have your name there as Nana Ajwa Amponsa there whatever <laughs> your name is you could have it written there as long as it is you have to let it be there and mostly this name should be your maiden name because this book is also going to be used for your child's birth certificate and if you've gazetted your name you could also indicate the accurate name in which you use there date of birth of mother and that is 19 february 19 87 making me 34 years of age so that is also indicated there and then the address the address in which i stay number 12 new boy street millennium city osu then the landmark mostly, mostly when we talk about landmark we mean um when i am coming to your house my easy way of identifying your house so if you tell me you live at millennium city house number so so and so one landmark is there so in this case there is a pentecost church there that will help 
someone coming to my house to be able to identify my house. The sub-district in which Osu is, is Osu Klote. Then the district is the Accra Metropolitan District. So that is what is indicated there with the region, which is Greater Accra Region. So most of times when we ask you and you don't know, we also have a data and a way we're going to um, deduce it. But we prefer you give us your accurate information so that in case you come to the facility and anything happens to you, God forbid, while we have women who come into our facility and end up fainting due to one medical condition or the other, and you need to track back to their house. So most of this information we are asking you for are supposed to be accurate so that it helps us in finding you and to give you the best of care. Telephone number. Your telephone number is needed so that in case of anything, we are able to call you. Sometimes you might misplace your book at the marketplace or you can even leave it at the hospital when you come for clinic. So when we have your accurate telephone number in the book, we will call you so that you come for your book. Your marital status does not predict how we treat you or any stigmatization but we need this information to help us with our statistics the government also use this information for so many things so that we can handle social issues in the country so asking of your marital status if you are cohabiting that is if you are living with a partner that you're not married to don't be shy just let us know if you are single don't be shy just let us know if you're married do well to tell us we do not stigmatize anyone for this information given your educational status or level if you haven't gone to school before let us know whether your limited education level is primary secondary vocational just let us know this information helps us in our communication with you if i am speaking to a woman who has not been to school before i wouldn't speak english i would speak or try to speak her local language and i will use less technical words to communicate to her so you letting us know your educational level will help us with our best communication and care rendered to you also your occupation if you are unemployed don't worry if you are employed tell us what you do sometimes the job you do posts you at risk to a lot of conditions so if you let us know that you work in a chemical factory i will know how to handle you as a patient and the kind of education to give to you Play, um, pointing or taking key consideration into the hazard you are at risk for. So when we ask you of your work and you are a trader, you are a seamstress, whatever is your profession is, we want you to tell us or whatever you do, let us know. A lot of work pregnant women do also have an effect on their pregnancy. Sometimes some women will complain of waist pain, back pain, leg pain, headache, which might be due to stress and the and the things they go through with their daily work next is information about your spouse we ask you of, of your spouse name your spouse age date of birth just like we do for you we ask of where the person stays so for example with me my partner and i live at different places so you have my partner living at Botiano. That is what is indicated in my book. So it shows you that I am living alone. Possibly I am living with my mother and my husband also lives at another place. We want to know so that we know how to educate you and advise you throughout your pregnancy. Knowing that you might not have your husband's support, but you might have your family support. Your partner's telephone number is also necessary to ask. This is not for any other reason, but for the best of your care. Sometimes in the facility, you might come to, um, you might come to the clinic for antenatal care and you might not be feeling well and we need to contact someone 
which your partner might be the one you want us to contact but maybe in your subconsciousness you cannot even remember the telephone number yeah it happens so during this time we take your book and we are able to call your partner sometimes there are certain care that we want to render to you and you would want the doctor to seek the uh, the permission of your partner we don't have any problem in contacting him talk to him counsel him for him to come to consensus with what we are about to do for you so having this contact is not for any other personal or private or inquisitive reason but it is for the best of your care your husband's level of education and occupation is also needed so that we know how best we could educate you in handling your home during pregnancy emergency contact number who is your emergency contact number my is my mother so i have her name and telephone number in my book so that in case of any emergency my mother is called and who is your emergency transport person i have an emergency transport uber driver who could transport me during any emergency to the hospital because i don't have my partner around these are some of the things we take you through emergency contact person emergency transport throughout your pregnancy so that it aids you safely last and not the least but on the on the part of family identity is your healthcare provider for Colebu, all that we have is that we work in teams and our teams that are taking care of patients so for example we have team a b c d up to e working from monday to friday respectively and on weekends we alternate the duty of every team so if you are assigned to a particular team all we ask you to do is you have your team indicated there so that whenever you come to the hospital we know the team that is taking care of you Thank you so much for staying to with me and be on the channel of the Pregnant Woman Passport Handling Section A, which is Family Identity. See you next time on the channel. On our next video, we are going to handle pregnancy record. Yes, how many times have you been pregnant? How many times have you lost it? Do you have any condition that we should know? That is what we are going to handle on our next section of the pregnant woman passport see you next week thank you bye bye